Yeah, hi there. These comments are for, I'm going to use your initials, RV. So, uh, I'm going to take some notes here. You just sent me an email. So, you completed an independent writing practice test, number one and two. And uh, I did email that over to my teaching assistant. And he will give you some scores on that later on today or tomorrow. Okay, the next thing. You have a TOEFL exam coming up. My system is not allowing me to record my speaking practice tests in Voxipop. Voxipop can be a little bit tricky. Uh, make sure you have downloaded all the required downloads for my program. I'm going to go over them right now. Write these down. Good for your listening practice. Make sure you have the latest version of Adobe Acrobat. Number two, Adobe Flash Player. Number three, Java. Number four, Apple QuickTime. The next thing, if you go directly to my Voxipop talk group, right at the very top, you'll see what's called talk group rules. It says, watch the following video if you're having trouble joining or recording responses to this talk group. So watch that video. That video will give you some instructions on how you can record your responses. All right, so going back to your message. So if you cannot figure out how to record your recordings at Voxipop, uh, email me your audio file, and I will send that over to my uh, TOEFL speaking specialist, Jacob, who will listen, score, comment, and send you some audio comments back by email. All right? All right, let's get to the next thing. You say, I have to score 100 on the TOEFL as per the requirements. So you got 87. So you had 21 You had uh, on the reading, you had 23 on the listening, you had 23 on the speaking, and you had 20 on the writing. So in August, and you have only 10 days for my next attempt, so please analyze where I can improve my score, which areas I have to work on, and where there's a lot of scope for me to score high. So based on it, you need at least four points on the reading, right? So obviously, you want to keep practicing in the reading areas of my course and also the vocabulary areas of my course. But to be honest with you, 10 days is not enough time for you to solve the problems you have right now. In listening, you want to score higher than 25, maybe 26 points on the listening section. That means keep working in the listening area of my course. I have some good suggestions. I even have some additional websites that you can study and practice to continue to improve your listening comprehension. So obviously you want to keep working in those areas. Speaking, you have a score 23. This could be trouble for you. You want to get at least two or three points higher there. You're having some problems with your pronunciation. That means that you want to keep working in the pronunciation area of my course. Make sure you complete my pronunciation pretests and finally the post test and go through all the recommended lessons in those areas, even reading out loud with me as I teach you the information in those videos. Now, in addition, your score indicates also that you're probably using basic vocabulary and basic grammar. And that means you need to improve both of those areas. So you want to keep working in the vocabulary area of my course and also in the grammar part of my course, especially grammar lesson number two. And you can also get a lot of extensive practice in grammar lesson number seven. Okay, let's take a look at your writing. Your writing, unfortunately, is uh, very low. You had 20. You want to get at least 25 or 26 points in that area, again, you have to keep working in the vocabulary and the grammar parts of my course and doing what you're doing. You are doing writing practice tests, which is good, so keep practicing those. And your writing score indicates that you are having some problems organizing your ideas. Now, I have a speaking lesson that's also good for writing. It's called speaking lesson number seven. I think that lesson will give you some good tips on how to make your writing more coherent. You definitely want to take a look at that lesson. In addition, you want to develop your ideas more than you are. So as you're working on my writing practice test, you want to make sure you're giving specific details to support some of your general ideas. 
So that would be some of my advice right now of different things that you can do to make improvements. Now, I can't remember. You, you can send me a quick email and let me know. Uh, hopefully, I recommended a, a TOEFL study guide for you. I can't remember if I did. If I did not, <coughs> send me another email. And you can ask me this question. You can say, which study guide do you recommend based on my score? I will probably tell you either my 60-day or my 90-day study guide will probably be the best for you based on your situation. All right? All right, thank you.